Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. Back with his good friend Dion from Dion Talk. How you doing, buddy? Howdy, doing great. Ready for round two. Yeah, so we uh, we had a pretty pretty huge conversation last week where I where you successfully got me to pivot, and I have become way more confident or, or comfortable uh, with this call uh, that we that we are now in the camp of we are we are in a real estate crash. I want to talk about why that was important, why I'm behind it, why I believe articulating it is important. Uh, but I know you have some thoughts on this as well. So uh, I'll let you go first. <laughs> I love the attacking comments that came saying, how can you change your mind? What's... We've changed how we're investing. How better to say the market that we're seeing is dictating how we invest. Here's why, and here's how, and here, how we're doing it, people can take and benefit from. But people, people saw the title, probably listened to 10 or 20 seconds, never watched the video, and then just said, you've been saying so many bad things about other YouTubers who were calling for a crash because they were saying, don't take action. For two years, we've been saying, take action. Here's all the reasons why. We're now saying, here's all the reasons why to take action. If a channel is using fear to get views and saying, don't take action, I will still talk negatively about that because imagine how many hundreds of thousands of dollars people lost if they had the ability to buy in 2020, but because they were waiting for the crash or correction, they missed out on 20 to 30% appreciation both years, massive rent increases and time in the market. Well, don't forget the 30-year debt, which they will likely never see again. That's, that is the asset for most folks. Um, and that is the lesson. Uh, I've said it many times about my 52-year spreadsheet. The people that won the 70s were the people that bought housing in 1970. They had the low interest rate of the decade, and they had property values double and rents more than double. It's, it's huge cash flow. So yeah, so for me, the aha moment that I had was... What is my goal? What am I trying to do? I'm trying to help people build wealth. I believe wealth is built in a recession or bear market. I believe that my market is changing. I have, draft, I have changed how I am shopping for my next unit. So when I talk about my opinions, I have to talk broad strokes. And I have, if, if actually anybody listened to your, my, our videos on this, I haven't changed my opinion one iota. I think both things are true that I've been saying all year and I haven't changed. That said, I am focused going forward on one true fact. We are having a housing crash in transactions and that means you need to act different. That is where I am comfortable. And again, my job, I see my job not as a guru or a mentor, it's as a teacher, which is why I think you and I click. As a teacher who is trying to help people on the path to financial freedom or build wealth, take action, I need to realize that being factually correct about an, a, a variable that like 500 economists care about is not helpful. Being technically correct about something that 500 people care about while everybody else doesn't get is not helpful. If as a teacher, half of your audience doesn't get it, and you've tried three or four times, it's your job as a teacher to change. Your job is to try to help everyone. And what I saw for three or four months by having my statistics, you know, variable conversation, I was confusing people that I didn't want to confuse. So I want to say again, real estate is crashing right now. We've already seen the first report and reports are going to get worse from here. We are going to see listings explode days on market explode. We are going to see price drops like we haven't seen before. And I am changing how I am shopping. That last piece, Dion, is the anchor. I am doing things different today. So I need to tell people why. Folks, I believe the market that I've been fishing in for 22 years is changing right now. I am directly marketing to people differently. I've shared it all on my channel. I am excited. I will do two or three deals this year. I will look for terms where appropriate. I will not pay list price. I, have, I am no longer looking at first day listings. All of these reasons are because we are having a crash right now. It happens to be in transactions, but that is meaningful. I have changed what I'm doing. It's important. Yeah, that's the, it's the reason I'm really glad we had that video last week because 
I've shifted how, how I'm making offers too. Yeah, Here's exactly. Example. Here's an example from this week. I see a property listed a little over a million dollars. It checks off every single one of my boxes. I kind of get excited. At that number with current interest rates and the area average rents a little less that I average for, it doesn't hit my number. It's a little over 10 days on the market, which didn't happen three, four months ago. This, this would have gone for a ridiculous price three or four months ago at a number that I wouldn't have seen make sense because people were redeploying 1031 money. They had cashed out refinance with super low interest rates. They had all this money to deploy. That's not there now. So I, after 10 days, make my offer at under a million where it makes sense to me, where I would get my yield. Seller comes back with, we need to, to net a million dollars. Mm. And I, I sent back, great. You should have sold in December. Ah, I love that. <laughs> I'll check back in a week or so and we'll see if my price works then. But if interest rates go up, my price is going to come down. Exactly. I never would have done that six months ago. I wouldn't have even wasted the seller's time with a low offer because I, have, I wasn't seeing anything last 10 days. And I mentioned this in video one today. So I'm sorry if you watch that, you're going to get to hear it again. I was in law enforcement for eight years and got laid off in 2008 because of the recession. Because, you know, when, when there's a recession, we don't have any more crime. We don't need cops anymore. One of the reasons I actually went into to real estate was I tried the Marine Corps for a pension, made six years. Tried law enforcement, made eight years. So I had to create my own pension. As a cop, you can't show up at a crime scene and think, I think I know what happened. Now let me find evidence to back it up. That's, that's ineffective police work. You need to look at the scene, read the evidence, see what's there, make a decision on what you think happened based on the evidence. And when you find new evidence, you have to change your opinion of what happened. Mm. This is what's happening in real estate. For two years, we saw speed was your best friend. Yeah, it's the only tool we had. People were doing, and you know, we had uh, a couple of tactics like way over asking price, which we weren't doing, but some people did. Mm -hmm waiving contingencies which i didn't do i don't know if you, you might have waived some appraisals i don't know because yeah. you were doing some cash or yeah, stuff right I but i wasn't waiving inspection because i wanted that time period to make up my mind mm. higher earnest money there were things that we were doing because based on the evidence that's what was working based on the evidence that we're seeing now interest rates went up buyers backed off fear of missing out went from buyer to seller we're seeing a shift in the market if you want to call it a housing crash and just stop talking there so people watch the video great we knew it's in transactions. Oh, yeah. And, and, and it's not a, we're not going, I believe there's going to be a crash in transactions because yeah. the crystal ball tells me. So we're literally going. I'm looking at the data today. Exactly. This is how much more inventory we have. This is how fewer um, uh, offers we're having made. These are the price reductions Redfin is from, from wish list price that are happening. The evidence says the market has shifted, and our content is to say, "Here's what we're doing different." Yeah, patience. Yeah, do the, what I got to tell folks again. One of the reasons I have problems with the crash videos who have taken off is they're all about fear. I have watched fifty of them, forty of them for sure. All of them are fear based. All of them are roll up in a ball on the couch and watch Netflix. I'm here to tell you. Real estate crashes is time to get excited. It is time. There has never been a more important time than right now to have your daily discipline. The only way you're going to know about your buy box if you look every day, how much more inventory, how many prices, how much, dude, how many things came off and went back on? How many things came off, went back on at a lower price? The market is changing drastically. Use this time to write great offers. And if you don't, if you don't know average, you don't know great. This is a time for patience. This is a time for activity. This is the time for action. It will take you 90 days to figure out your buy box. And I guarantee you the next 90 days will be the most exciting 90 days in the last two years. More inventory, more days on market, more price drops, more activity. You, your job, my only job, three deals. Find three motivated sellers. I have a couple of things that I will tell you point blank right now. I will not look at anything that's less than 15 days on market. That's just where I'm at right now. That might go to 30 days by the end of the year, might. Second, I will not write any offers at asking. I don't care if they had a price drop. I will not write a single offer at asking. I don't have to. 
I'm the buyer. There's not many of us left. I'm going to buy great deals. And then third, I'm going to find, I'm going to market directly to sellers that have equity because I know if I can get terms, even if I get them to take a small second, my yield, which is the only thing I care about, Dion, explodes. I did the math with Matt where we took one of his great deals at 20 and we turned it into 50. That's amazing. So those are the things that I'm doing right now. It is because transactions are crashing, because fear of missing out has gone from the buyer to the seller, because of the Fed broke housing. The, the entry-level buyers, at rates are up 250 basis points. They're hurting. So uh, I'm going to use this opportunity to get two to three great deals. And you're right. It's a crash, and it's happening right now. It's happening at different rates in different markets, but it is happening. The slowdown is real, and I have not been this excited in quite a while. I, I want to say thanks for doing the work and watching 40 to 50 crash videos because I only watch the ones and don't send me any more. But Matt, the lumberjack landlord, when he sends me one, I think, okay, there, there's something in here that triggered him. I want to yeah. find out what it is so that I could pick on him about it. <laughs> exactly. So, so I've watched a few, but, but they are all fear-based. What I really like about what we're saying is we're in a crash. Oh yeah. We're here. Here's the excitement. Here's, here's the, the, the like adrenaline rush of we're finally going to find motivated sellers. And it's going to yes. be easier to find because six months ago, we had no idea who was the, the motivated seller because it was off the market in a few hours. Now, if you have a property that's on 10, 15, 20 days on the market, when you make an offer and they don't take it, not a motivated seller. When yeah, you make exactly. an offer that makes sense to you and they take it, that was a motivated seller. It's going to be that easy to find them. So if you want fear, Watch those fear-based. If you want that excuse to not take action, mm. I understand. Yeah. But that's yeah. not who we're trying to talk to. No, at the end of the day, uh, building wealth happens for lots of folks by taking action in a recession or bear market. If you're a stock market investor, do you want to buy at all-time highs or do you want to buy when great companies are on sale? If you want to buy cash flowing real estate, do you want to buy when you have to make stupid overpriced decisions or do you want to buy when there are no buyers? I... Again, back to kind of the first video. I have been through a cycle where every deal got better. I, I don't know now. I, I, I've been doing this 20 years and I have no idea where the bottom in transactions will be. I'm going to make sure the first deal I do is great. I'm going to make sure the second deal is better than the first. I'm going to make sure that the third deal, which is my goal for the year, is better than the second. And oh, by the way, should this deal be going on next year? I will make sure my fourth deal is better than the third. I will do this until it turns around. And it'll turn around when Fed cuts rates or, or wages explode or whatever it will be. That is quarters down the line. I have capital to deploy that I built on purpose. I'm going to do great deals and every deal will be better than the last one. So I'm excited. Do the work. This is not a time to sit on your ass. Lots of you, lots of you have told me, I wish I bought in 2010. Well, yeah, no shit you wish you bought in 2010. Why did I buy in 2010? Because I bought in 08. I bought in 09. I bought in 10. I bought in 11. You, know, you have no idea where the bottom is. And most of you will freak out because you're not in the market. So I'm excited, Dion. I hope you are. Uh, it's going to be fun to watch what you do because you are doing the right things. You're, you've been running the numbers. You are sticking to your guns. And uh, I look forward to you adding a great fourplex here shortly. Yeah, you, your goal is to you know get three, find three motivated sellers, get three great deals throughout this year. Mine is to find one because it's probably the last one I'm going to buy while I have a W two. Matt, he's threw down the gauntlet. Pay attention, <laughs> Dion. Where can people find you? Right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom. Thanks, buddy.